Let's have a look at Andy Cine Lunchbox. They make SSD caddies for a Tomos recorder. This is Artist Right. Before we start, subscribe if you're new and hit on the bell icon so you'll be notified every time I upload cool new videos like this. For full disclosure, Andy Cine sent me these for review. All the opinions you're about to hear are my own. You may have seen my original review for their Lunchbox MSATA and also the Lunchbox SATA to USB Type-C connection. I think these two accessories works really well because it connects to SSD and it translates that SATA connection into a USB Type-C or USB Type-A connection that you can link to your computer and download the data from the SSD right away. Since then, Andy Cine have come up with two new generation lunchbox and because I have all three generations together, I'm going to give you an overview of them and share with you which one I think is the most versatile today so that you can make the best investment possible. Now to give us some background, these lunchbox are designed to work with an Atomos recorder. For this demo, I'll be using my Atomos Ninja 5 and on the back of this device, there is a slot and a SATA type connection. This pretty much allows you to link up an SSD that has a SATA type connection to these recorders and you can then record the footage directly onto those SSDs. Many times when you purchase an Atomos recorder, they will come with these plastic master caddy and you can certainly buy more of them as well. There's just literally a plastic caddy where you put in your SSD, you put the cover back on, you put four screws, two on each side, and now at this point what you can simply do is just bring the master caddy, slide this in so that it engages with the SATA connection on the Atomos recorder. So that's pretty much simple in itself. Beyond this, you can certainly buy pre-manufactured Master Caddy from either G Drive or a really nicely made one from Angelbird. A couple of things to note about these Master Caddy in general, the one that are these plastic ones, is that when you plug in all the way, the drive still sticks out on the side of the Ninja recorder, at least on the Ninja 5 anyhow. For the bigger ones, this is less of an issue. But this is definitely something to note. So when Andy Cine launched their Lunchbox MSATA. The nice thing about this is that this pretty much just slides in and there's no protruding parts that goes out on the side and it's fairly easy to put on and off. I really like this design. The only problem with the original Lunchbox is that by the time they launch it, MSATA is becoming a dying breed, so they're hard to find. They are fairly pricey. Andy Cine recommendation is to get a Samsung T5, take it apart so that you can just get the MSATA drive on the inside and use it with the circuit board that they have. This is a good novel idea, however, the moment you take a drive apart, you are voiding a warranty on that drive. Well, enter in the second generation lunchbox, which are compatible with a few Samsung drive. That would be the 870 and also 860 EVO and QVO in one and two terabyte capacity. I'm not sure if the other capacity or the other Samsung drive will work or not, but these are the one that they have recommended on their website. And I am not going to be buying all these other different drives and capacity to see if they are supported in this device or not. The caution for the second generation lunchbox is very similar to the first one and is that if you buy a Samsung drive to take it apart for the internal SSD and to put it into this device, the moment you do that, you are voiding the warranty on the original drive. Well, granted, it does come with every tool that you need, including the hex screwdriver that you're going to need to take apart the Samsung drive, the screws to mount this in, and also a thermal heat pad well, to cool down the SSD. But I think the best lunchbox generation so far would be the third one, and it's simply this CNC aluminum cage or aluminum case. And you have two different ways of mounting this third generation. So let me pull this drive out and give you a quick demo. So simply enough for this, what you can use is just as a guide, as a loose caddy like so. But if you want to mount this to a specific drive, well, simply enough, what you would do is take the drive and the side that has the SATA connection. What you would do is line it up with the side that has that arrow, slide that in. And there are two screws on the side and you just have to pretty much put that screw in there, put the screw in on the other side and you're pretty much set to go. You can buy one of these for every single SSD that you have, although I really don't recommend that because this does give you one more flexibility, which I really do enjoy. And that is the fact that you just simply take this CNC aluminum lunchbox three, slide it into your Atomos recorder like so. So now I have that on. And simply enough, that now works as a guide without me having to buy multiple, for instance, of these master caddy from Atomos or buying expensive drive. Now I can just use simply bare SSD drive, slide it in like so. 
and it locks into place. It's not that loose at all. You can see that there is a little bit of wiggle room. This is pretty much normal, but it's not a loose drive that is pretty much in this slot that doesn't have this guy to it. When you're done, you're ready to change the drive. Simply pull this out and just plug in under the drive like so. And this, I think, is one of the best implementation and probably the best lunchbox by far because it does offer the user the most flexibility of using an SSD drive with your Atomos recorder without having to get multiple of these little plastic caddies, as I mentioned before, or take apart a drive such as in their second and first generation in order for you to use this. So anyway, I hope that you find this comprehensive overview of the Andy Cine Lunchbox lineup helpful. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below. Give this a like, subscribe, and hit the bell you're new, and in our trust.